Hello and welcome Crypt Dwellers. Today we take a look back at the sci-fi horror classic Night Beast. Let's go. Before the Video Recordings Act of 1984, distributors could release their films without an age classification, meaning directors could make their films as close to the knuckle as possible, ensuing more sex and violence for the viewer. Of course this led to the Obscene Publications Act and the whole video nasty phenomenon, but it really was a great time to be an underground horror fan. One classic that was released in this period in 1982 was Vipco's Night Beast. Directed by Don Dola, with creature effects by John Dodds, Night Beast is a low budget sci-fi monster movie that was made for around $14,000. It acts as a semi-sequel remake to Dola's first film, The Alien Factor. Night Beast is the story of an alien creature whose ship is hit by an asteroid and crashes down to Earth to the small town of Perry Hall. What the hell was that? The creature goes on a killing spree and it's up to the town sheriff to stop the creature from killing any more people. Even though the premise is simple, the film is quite atmospheric, in part due to the film's music which was composed by a then 16 year old Cloverfield Star Trek director J.J. Abrams, credited here as Jeffrey Abrams. The acting is wooden and corny, but the interactions between Sheriff Cinder and the townspeople offer a welcome distraction between the bloodshed, with some hilarious dialogue often the result. I want this town evacuated, today. Forget it, Jack. This is a big deal. I can't stop it now anyway. The governor's on his way. The people will be arriving any minute. I don't believe you. You don't know what's loose out there. Pete is dead, for Christ's sake. I don't want anybody else dead. I want this town cleared out. And in one scene, the sheriff provides a masterclass in seduction. I guess I better get dressed now, huh? No. You know, you're a very attractive girl, Lisa. I guess I never really noticed before. The star of the show is the special effects, and while the monster is dressed like a 70s disco reject, the practical effects in the film are good, and I lost count when the body count of the film got to about 15. Death by laser and melting, intestinal rips, arm rips, head rips are just some of the ways the alien dispatches of his victims. Whilst produced on a meagre budget, Night Beast manages to be a fairly powerful film that features scenes of emotion and heart, but also some shocking scenes of violence. A good film if you are into low budget sci-fi monster films like Humanoids from the Deep, Rana and Tracker the Moon Beast. Night Beast is fun and cheap, but an entertaining watch, and definitely worth checking out. It was also released in 2004 on DVD by Troma Entertainment, with a special edition DVD. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and please comment below your favourite monster movies from the 80s. Till next time Crypt Dwellers, goodbye. Let's watch.